how to use the iPad as a second or even third monitor with a MacBook Pro. Here's what you need for this to work. You need an iPad, well who guessed it, you need a MacBook Pro, you need an Apple ID, then if you want to do this wirelessly, you obviously need to have a Wi-Fi connection and both your devices should be connected to the same wireless network. However, it is not compulsory that you do have Wi-Fi to get this to work because you can also use a USB-C cable to connect your iPad to your Mac and to be completely honest with you, I highly suggest you to use a cable because like that the connection will be much more stable. But on top of that, you need to meet the following system requirements. As far as the system requirements go, I will leave a link in the description of this video so that you can check this in more detail later on. But basically speaking, you need at least Mac OS Catalina for this to work and you need a MacBook Pro that was introduced in 2016 or later. If you don't know what MacBook Pro model you have, or if you don't know what exactly your system OS is, then you can easily verify that by clicking on the Apple symbol in the upper left corner of the screen, and click on About this Mac, and you can then see your MacBook Pro model, and under Mac you can also see the Mac OS that you're currently on. So in my case here, I'm on Sonoma 14.1. Now that you know all about the requirements, let's set it up. First of all, make sure that you're connected to the same Apple ID both on your MacBook Pro and on your iPad. Also, if you would like to do this wirelessly, make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that Bluetooth is turned on on both devices. To turn on Bluetooth on a Mac, if you're on a very new Mac OS, in the upper right corner of the screen, you should find your control center and from there you can simply make sure that Bluetooth here is turned on. If you can't see that from there, no worries, then go to the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the screen and simply search for Bluetooth. And from there you can then click on where it says Bluetooth system settings. Once in the system settings, just make sure that Bluetooth here is toggled on. On your iPad to enable Bluetooth from the home screen, swipe down with one finger from the upper right corner of the screen and then just make sure that the Bluetooth button appears in blue. If it is grayed out, simply tap on it and Bluetooth is then activated. Okay, now that we got that out of our way, there is one more thing that we need to do. On your Mac, in the upper left corner of the screen, click on the Apple symbol and then go to System Settings or if you're on an older Mac OS, it might say System Preferences. In any case, click on that. Then you want to go to General followed by airdrop and handoff and toggle on the option allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud services. Once this is toggled on, which was already the case for me here, you want to go to your iPad, tap on settings, then on the left side tap on general, navigate to airplay and handoff and there as well make sure that the handoff option is toggled on. We're almost there guys, it's going to get really exciting now. Now on your Mac, to get this to work, in the upper right corner of the screen, click on the control center and then click on screen mirroring. And there you will get the option mirror or extend to and then you will see your iPad there. Now to use your iPad as a second monitor together with your MacBook Pro, simply click on your iPad there and you should be good to go. If you can't see this control center here in the menu bar on top, or if you simply don't have screen mirroring there, what you're going to do is you're going to spotlight here, just click on this icon with the magnifying glass and then search for displays. Then click on displays. And in this case, you should be able to add your iPad to use as a second monitor alongside your MacBook Pro from here. All you would need to do is to click on this plus symbol here and then click on the iPad option there. Once all of that is set up in the displays menu, you can also arrange your iPad. So click here on where it says arrange and you can then rearrange your displays. For example, you can see that I have the iPad here on the left side, which works fine for me. But if you want to have this on the right side, simply click and drag and put it to the right side. You can even put it below your MacBook Pro. Once you're happy with the arrangement, click on done. Why is this important? Well, it's important because whenever we want to drag a window from our MacBook Pro to our iPad, we will need to respect the arrangement. So if your iPad is arranged on the left side of your MacBook Pro, then when you drag a window to your iPad, you would also need to exit here on the left side of your Mac. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about now. In fact, there are two ways now to get your contents from your Mac to your iPad. The first one is by simply dragging in a window to your iPad now. For example, if I would like to have this browser window now showing on my iPad, what I can do is I can simply drag it to my iPad. However, first of all, in the upper left corner of the screen, you need to make sure to exit full screen if you're in full screen mode. So simply click on this green button here. This will take your browser window out of full screen mode. Once that is done, you can simply click and drag and get it onto the iPad like this. Another way to do that is to hover over the screen button in the upper left corner of the browser window and then just choose move to iPad. 
And just like that, your browser window will be taken over to your iPad as well. Lovely. Now, on your iPad, while connected, you can obviously still use the native iPad apps. If you do so, for example, I have iMovie open now here. Once I close that again, you will need to make sure to open up Sidecar again in order to continue using your iPad as the second monitor. And the way you do that is to tap here on this blue icon with the two monitors on it here in the iPad dock. And once you do that, your iPad will then function again as a second monitor for your MacBook Pro. Also, instead of tapping on that button, you can also pinch out with four fingers on the home screen of your iPad and you should then see this continuity window. And when you tap on that, then as well, you will get back to using your iPad as a second monitor for your MacBook Pro. But how about using your iPad as a third monitor together with your MacBook Pro and an external monitor? Well, the good news is, as far as the iPad setup goes, it works exactly as pointed out in this video here. So it doesn't really matter if the iPad is your second monitor or your third monitor. As far as connecting an external monitor to your MacBook Pro goes, this is also really simple. You can directly connect an external monitor to your MacBook Pro via a HDMI cable. If your MacBook doesn't have an HDMI port, you can simply buy an adapter, for example a USB-C to HDMI adapter. After that, to establish the connection, just plug in your monitor via HDMI, and then on your Mac again, in the upper right corner, go to Spotlight and search for Displays. Once you're in the Displays menu, you can then set up and arrange your external monitor. However, setting up an external monitor is usually pretty much plug and play. So you can just plug it in via HDMI and there's a good chance that it will just work from scratch without you having to do anything at all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you should have any problems with using your iPad as a second monitor, please make sure to leave a comment below. I will be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.